Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and um, thanks for joining me today. Uh, today I'm here with a different kind of video. Um, if you um, are a returning visitor to the channel, you'll um, you'll remember that me and David took a short break to the Yorkshire Dales um, just a couple of months ago and um, we visited some lovely, lovely places there and there was one place that we visited which was um, called Stump Cross Caverns and I didn't um, I didn't include it in the last video um, because the video was just getting too long and to be fair I forgot all about it you know and then um, I was looking back through my footage and I came across it and uh, I thought I'd, I'd include it um, on the channel today because it was a really really interesting place and um, it's like these caverns and they're in the middle of nowhere and where it is it's just a labyrinth of like caves and then um, I mean if you like that kind of thing you're gonna love this but it's like just a big labyrinth of caves that stretches like quite far and that I haven't even discovered like all of them you know this is just like a small bit of them and you th when you think what's below below your feet you know what's below ground it's just absolutely amazing you know and these caves are um the the they're not man-made the natural caves you know um, because me and david has visited um caves in the past um and we, we visited one called Gilmer and Cove. Now that was really, really weird because um, it's up in um, just outside of Edinburgh in a place called Gilmerton, hence the name Gilmerton Cove. And um, how you access it is, it's through the boogies, through Labrooks, the boogies. I mean, I don't know if it's still there because it's been a while since we were there. And um, it's like these caves that's been um, like chiselled out chiselled out underground and that it, uh, it's like really kind of um sort of druidy you know it looks like it's been a kind of place for i don't really know maybe hiding or it looks like quite sacrificial um or it, it does look quite religious as well so nobody really knows what happened in them coves you know but this there's, there's like a um an altar and a font and things like that so it kind of makes you think about maybe a religious aspect or maybe like something maybe still not religious but um sacrificial you know um but who knows we don't know but you can go and view them you know and it's really really good but that's the Gilmerton Cove this is Stumpcross Caverns and these caverns these caves are just amazing and um there's loads of like stalactites and stalagmites and they're all lit up by like nice lightning things you know and um the the girl who bought them had bought them I, I was speaking to um like a, a partner I, we spoke to her as well you know and uh, we spoke to her partner and she said I said, how did you come across these? You know, how did you acquire these caves? Somebody just doesn't go out and buy a care for one day. She said, that's exactly what I did, you know. And she said um, that it was a, pa uh, a paper cutting, like a newspaper article, sorry, a newspaper article that it was for sale. And yeah, she, she bought it. And uh, the the always trying to improve it, you know, for visitors. And they've done amazing work. They've done great great work on it they've got like a, a coffee shop there they do activities they've got a cinema like a little cinema room there and that and um it's great for kids it's great for adults as well me and david loved it you know and um they try to raise money all the time and the, what the couple are doing is they're actually um raffling their house you know they have a well, sorry apartment they have an apartment at Pateley bridge which is another beautiful part of like the deals and the the raffling there house and I'll, I'll put the details down below in case you want to buy your ticket the 10 pound a ticket um it's this isn't sponsored or nothing like that you know they're just trying to fundraise so they can get more lighting in the cave so other pe people can enjoy it more you know and it's more atmospheric and things like that but um the, the did um raffle their motorhome off as well i think or was it a camper van it might have been a camper van you know motorhome camper van and they did raffle that off to raise funds but now they're actually raffling off their apartment to raise the funds so i'll put it down in the description box below but hey, hey guys just please check out these caves you know you're gonna love them right guys we're at stump cross caves um so we're gonna go in here and hopefully i'll be in the film we're actually in the cave 
gifts. Well, guys, these are the steps going down to the caves. So I'll um, film when I get to the bottom of them. Wow, this is so cool. David's gone this way. I've got a duck because it's um, there he is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at these. Oh, my word. Hope you can see that shining. are all purple as well. Come on then, let's go through this part. Keep going. <laughs> wow, <laughs> got a <the> dog. <laughs> oh, it must be low if you've got a dog. I know. <laughs> This is the butcher shop. Wow. Can't really see, can you? No. going to go through here you guys so this one's welcome to the twins it's a pleasure to meet you i am sally the shark tooth did you know the caves were first discovered by lead miners in 1860 although they didn't find any lead they did find the natural caverns which you will see today william newball decided to open the caves to the public at a cost of one shilling per visit wow Ooh. Oh my word, this is fab. Wow. Where's them twins? Ooh. So you can go that way or that way. So which do we go? Um. <laughs> we just consult with the map. This is a bit bright up here, but so this way looks dark and intriguing. It's the Wolverine Caves off to the left for a short trip, and then off to the right is the main run. Okay, so we'll go this way, guys. We'll, see that start in there. we'll go this way. Wow, oh my word, these are brilliant. I mean, the path's pretty even, you know. Follow. Oh wow, look at this. Look at this formation. This is just brilliant. And look what I'm shining the torch on, guys. It's shining purple. Oh wow. That is cool. That was way really cool. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing oh my word so the ones on the bottom stalactite mites and the ones are stalactites yeah hanging on tight I was going to tight, hold on tight yeah something. hold on tight yeah so this is a stalagmite oh wow I just love how they're glowing you know when you shine the ultraviolet light on them or wherever it is. Oh wow. Do we see them twins? Uh, twins, 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 twins. Yeah, we're passing back there uh, on that junction. Oh, we'll have to go back and see them. Yeah, it's just. 
just so cool. Let's go. God, I mean, this is millions of years of formation. That's just amazing, it really is. I've not seen anything so cool in a long time. So we're heading off into where Wolverine? These are the Wolverine caves. Reindeers. Yeah. This is so cool, guys. You can see the purple shining on. Wow. I can't see you. Stop. Look at that. Hi, David. Isn't it cool? Yeah, I'm just looking at all the sort of formations oh. and start filling and yeah. Yeah. Yeah, all the pools as well. Oh, you can see them. Like different pool formations. Oh, David. Can I go first because I'm recording? Uh -huh. oh. Oh wow, look at this, it's cool. Small static lights. Oh. Hey guys, it's in you are now in Wolverine, Wolverine Cavern. Don't worry, you're safe with me. Freddy Floraspa, remains of the Wolverines, a giant member of the Weasel family, have been discovered at Stump Cross. As well as a bison and reindeer, it is thought that the bodies of the animals are washed into the caves as the ice melted, forcing them to live in the caverns. Real bones from the cave are available to see at the entrance to the cave in reception. So, yeah, they found... Um, Wolverine bones and bison bones and reindeer bones here. So when the, during the ice age, obviously they've That's gone and um, washed in, and they've yeah lived in these caves. Wow, absolutely cool. They are amazing. Let's have a look along here. Oh, oh wow. I think we can't go any further, but you can clearly see them, like from top to bottom, they've formed, what did you call them ones? The stalactites, stalagmites and then... Pillars. Pillars, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pillars. Wow, this is amazing. You can see some there. Guys, these are the twins here, because it's just a double um, column, isn't it? Pillar, yeah. Right guys, we're going to go along here now. This cave. It's a bit dark. Oh, a little seat here. Oh, careful, dear bit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? It's not a problem for me, guys, because I'm only small. But David's like six foot one or something. Oh, a nice little seat there if you want to chill in the cave. Literally. <laughs> yes, seven, it's seven degrees down here, so it is a bit cold. Um, you can see the it's all still lighting up purple. When you shine the torch on, it's just purple everywhere. Wow, this just keeps going on. Look, up there. Wow. It's amazing. Wow. As soon as you shine the torch on it, everything's purple. Ooh. Oh wow, even I'm having a crouch here. 
I do have a hard hat on though, so. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, where are we at now? The jewel box. We're at the jewel box now. Not quite sure why it's called the jewel box. Do we know? More caves this way and it continues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, guys. It's my torch, John. Oh, we seem to be descending. Ah, okay, I think we're going into a bigger kind of cave. <laughs> Oh, what's this? Snow drift. Oh my word, look at that, guys. That formation there. That's cool. God, our planet is amazing. Here. Not a lot. Oh. Oh Right, so it's gone for millions of years. This part of the cave system remained inaccessible to the public, but now visitors are able to glimpse into the entrance of the fairy palace and choose now cameras to view the magic within. This secret part of the cave system reveals ancient and rare crystal flowers found nowhere else in the caves. These are glittering stalagmites and have shimmering lake of reflections that have remained untouched by humans for thousands of years. The fairy palace is also rumoured to be home to our very own cave fairies who dance amongst the sparkling stalagmites and crystal garden. Fairies like to live where there is little human activity and potholers have reported seeing dancing knights within the cave that looks like fairies. Find out more about the fairy tales that surround the fairy palace as you explore upstairs. This little guy here is a hawk. You can see, he looks like a hawk, doesn't he? Uh -huh. But he's the hawk. Um, I'm not sure what that one is there, if anything at all. Doesn't but it make, just coming yeah, make sure we don't jump over this are. guy. Huh? The sentinel right in front of you. The sentinel. Oh, and look. Yeah. Okay. Careful you don't trip on this one. Sticking up in the ground. Oh, there's fairies. Crikey, oh my goodness. Guys, how cute is this little thing? This is a fairy garden. Fairy cave. Oh, oh man. That's so cool. <laughs> That's the fairy palace. David's cursing because <laughs> he's finding it difficult. Right, yeah, watch that guy. Yeah, I must have used on that where he done that once. Wow. <laughs> That's a huge one, isn't it? It is, isn't it? It's totally like white, isn't it? Right, so where are we going along here? You lead us to the. Where was it? Well, we're just there. The Sandcastles, uh, sorry. Sandcastles, Policeman's Truncheon. Sleeping, Sleeping Cat, cat cathedral. the Cathedral and the Wedding Cave. So let's go along here, guys. This dark, dark cave. <laughs> and, oh, I've just seen drops of water there. Look at these tiny little oh. droplets. 
Oh. What did you see? It just goes up. It's all warm. Yeah? So if you look up there. Oh, oh guys. No, no, you have to be right underneath, look straight up. Oh. It's hard. Okay. Right. I'm gonna go along here in this dark, dark tunnel. You come in, David. I feel like Batgirl. <laughs> oh, look at this little thing. Oh, how cute is that? The leaky tap. <laughs> That's so cool. So guys, this part is called the sleep the the cathedral. So we'll have a look what we can see in here. But there's an organ. I've spotted the organ that's here. Um, let's have a good look at it. So this is the organ. And apparently there's a sleeping cat. So. Oh, there, is that it? No? Oh, just a, yes. Is that the sleeping cat? Yes. So this formation here is called the sleeping cat. Kind of looks like a sleeping cat. And what else is there here? Uh, a wedding cake. A wedding cake. Oh, so this. Oh, look at this, what they've done. They've put seats in. It's amazing. It really is, guys. I would definitely say I come here. It's fascinating, it really is. I'm still looking for the wedding cake. But I found this little thing. That's cool, isn't it? <laughs> it's so cool. Oh. Oh, there's the wedding cake. Oh, I don't know if I can catch it in. Oh, there, can you see, guys? What? There. That's the wedding cake there. It really does look like one, doesn't it? That is so cool. That is really cool. Wow. So this little bit's called the cradle. And that's what it's like. Let's stand down here and have a bit of things. And they made a little tribute to Her Majesty the Queen here, which is how it's a nice touch, isn't it? So, this is a cool chamber, isn't it? So, what's up here then? So, up here is. Should we go up here? Yeah. Yeah, the, the reindeer cave. Yeah, let's go. Let's go up the reindeer caves, and then we'll go up the other ones. Wow! Oh, right. So about the reindeer caves now. So the reindeer cavern, weak acid rain eroded the limestone caves over thousands of years. Acid rain is created from carbon dioxide from the atmosphere mixed with the rain. Underground streams once formed their way into these eroded cracks and expanded the cave system even further. And this is the... Oh. These are the reindeer. Right the... Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, there, guys, that's better. Oh, wow. That is amazing. Look at the ceiling as well. That's just so cool. The gift shop's got loads of crystals, guys. Absolutely loads of crystals. I'm in my element here. Okay. 
So guys, this is in the middle of the cave. Well, not in the middle of the cave, but in the cave. So the owner dressed up as a cave woman, uh, like the owner of the caves, and slept in this bed or down here for how long? 105 hours. 105 hours to raise money, you know, for um, the caves, yeah? So it's like four and a half days. Uh-huh. So she stayed down here, and that's why she slept on this bed. <laughs> Rather rare than me. <laughs> but yeah. Moving on, so it's Kiev Woman Corner. <laughs> wow, that looks like a letter box, doesn't it? Oh, it is. Post your letters to Kiev Woman here. <laughs> and over here is a little seating area. And if I go over here, ooh. Wow. Cool. Okay. Uh, we're just coming into the chamber of pillars. So this is the chamber of pillars that we're going into next. This looks cool, doesn't it? I hope you enjoy that, you know, visit to the caves. Um, my favourite bit is the um, the cat, and I, I like the wedding cake as well. Did you see the wedding cake? It's really, really cool. Um, anyway, guys, whilst I was there, they do sell, if you're a crystal lover, you know, if you're into your crystals and things like that, they had like an array of crystals in their like gift shop, loads of different kinds and like selling precious stones and crystals and lamps as well like salt lamps and things like that so I was in just it paradise me you know I love all that uh, you know I visit like the, the rock and gem festival and things like that but I picked up this little rabbit look at this it's onyx can you see it's lovely isn't it it's just like a little rabbit made out of the onyx and I thought this would be like I, I'm gonna um take it over to the caravan and I thought it just it's a little reminder of our lovely like little short break holiday that we had and our visit to them beautiful caves so um I must add that entry wasn't very much in that in into the caves either um I'll, I'll put it on the screen how much it was to um for the entry yeah you might see in the background that um it's changed a little bit so I've just started putting up my Halloween decor um I've, like I said, I've just started. I haven't finished, guys. Um, I've got a big spider up here on the ceiling, and uh, but I'm going to show you it. You know, what? I will be doing my Halloween video. Um, I'm hoping to upload it on Saturday. Um, if it's not Saturday, it will most definitely be on Monday. So please watch out for that. Um, if you click your notification bell, you know, so you don't miss that upload, that would be fantastic. So yeah, I'll give you like a tour of the downstairs, you know, like the decorations downstairs and also outdoors as well because I decorate the garden. So guys, all that's left to say is thank you for joining me today. Um, I do hope you've enjoyed today's video. So until the next time, guys. Stay safe, everyone. Bye till then. Bye.